Well, it is a way of life getting out, having a road trip, grab a Suzuki Vitara and hit the road. Made our way between Warwick and Toowoomba. It's the Darling Down Zoo. I've heard about this for years, but I've never gone in to check it out. So we're going to go and do that right now. Darling Down Zoo. Steph, this is amazing. Your zoo, Darling Down Zoo. It's incredible. The walkthrough experience and the people. I've just constantly seen people <laughs> smile. Well, that's what we're here for, to keep people entertained, but also to introduce all the beautiful animals so they learn to appreciate them. So you do have educationals here as well. So basically yeah. people get to understand what each the animal's about because um, we just spotted the lions before and yeah. everyone's just like, wow, and then this big roar came and out. And they're so big. Right? Yeah. It's, the idea is to make sure people learn a little bit so that they want to learn more. Well, with this, how many species or different species are, are in the zoo? Because I think I've only uh, maybe seen half of it so far. Yeah, there's about 150 different species. We've got over 500 animals. So wow. Yeah, there's a lot of mouths. Okay. <laughs> do, do, do you have a job? <laughs> because I'll tell you what, I reckon there's a lot of people who are just believing that you are living the dream because you are. I mean, this uh, must be so much fun. It is, but a lot of people don't realise just how um, you get brilliant highs, but yes. you also get terrible lows. Yes, absolutely. So, You've got to have a really steady personality to be able to handle it. And it's a lot of hard work. We're a labourer for all these animals that need us. Absolutely. And so we constantly do everything for them. And so basically we're their slaves. So interestingly, do you have like a Friends of the Zoo program or something like that? No, where people, Because I've noticed a couple of the enclosure, like the new cheetah enclosure has been sponsored by family. Um, that kind yeah. of thing. Would you look at that if people were interested? Yeah, we're sort of in the process of setting up um, a preservation foundation right. to help assist our endangered animals particularly um, but as far as that we do have volunteers but we don't have a friends of the zoo association at this stage. Well I think that's something that we could work on for you because <laughs> I reckon people are going to love this coming out to the Darling Downs between Warwick and Toowoomba the Darling Downs Zoo it is a really special place have you got a favorite animal? Uh, well it all depends on who's behaving. Okay <laughs> I totally understand that I've got to say I'm a big, big fan of the giraffes yeah, I mean, you've got the icon species that mm -hmm. people love. Yep. Uh, lions, a giraffe, yep. and so forth. Meerkats. But then a lot of the little animals that people have never heard of, yeah, they a fall in of love those. with. You know, there's some gorgeous birds. Yep. Um, and then you've got the little monkeys that are so cheeky and personal. And yeah, we've got koalas, which are another icon. Yep. But, you know, there's so many different varieties of birds in particular, as well as other animals. Agoutis that people have never heard of. Yeah. Capybara that. If they're really in the mood, they'll come up for a little scratch. You really? Know, how many people get to, to see that and to hand feed a zebra? And I've seen also that you've got a baby hippo, I believe it is. No, I, she's not a baby. She's actually fully grown. But really? She's a, a pygmy hippo and there's only five left in Australia. Well, because I was thinking it was called a tripo because it was so small. <laughs> <laughs> Darling down She's Zoo. adorable. You've got your cafeteria, you've got the gift shop. It's, it's all here. And of course, beautiful picnic grounds for families to come to as well. Darling Down Zoo, come and check it out on your road trip. Yeah.